Hello. Today we're going to talk about what is an ICO, initial coin offering. It's tip. It, what it is basically is a poor man's IPO, or or an IPO would be initial public offering. And most of the time, people like yourself and I can't get in early enough to really get the benefits of an IPO. So the ICO came up as an idea when the crypto assets came out. And um, the, the basically, um, you is a way for people to raise money for a venture, just like an IPO, but it has some other elements to it. Um, for example, an ICO requires a white paper and a white paper is pretty much a write-up of what this, what the money is going to be raised for. Now, one thing with ICOs you need to know is in most cases, the money is raised before the product is delivered. So they're collecting your, your tokens to, to, to build out a concept. And the white paper explains what the concept is. It's somewhat like a business plan. Um, it has a management team in it. It has what and the milestones they intend to set. All things of that nature. An ICO is typically funded through something called crowdfunding. Where there's a bunch of small investors like you and I can get in and benefit from it. It's... Uh, Typically, with an IPO, uh, which which is initial public offering, there's usually a road show and a big promotion done and a lot of money spent in getting people excited about the IPO. In an ICO, that doesn't happen. The idea is to keep the course down and to get people in. Now, unfortunately, the track record for ICOs isn't really that great. Uh, you have NEO, you do have Ethereum, okay? You have um, Filecon, you have um, a, a bunch of other Telegram, a bunch of other ICOs that sort of were, were questionable, questionable. And um, this, if you want to think about it, this is typically like if you're doing an investment an investment with a an, an angel investor or a a, a a friends and family investor in in the typical investment investment world. The ICO um, coin is stored typically um, in private public chain uh, change uh, keys as as usual. You can buy an ICO from Binance, um, Ascend EX, Coinbase, um, so that that's not an issue. The biggest problem with ICOs is fraud. There's no regulations. It's an outright risk. So what has happened is, over time, it's evolved into things such as an IEO, an initial exchange offering or an IDO, initial DEX offering, and we did talk about IPOs. So people are, they're starting, uh, companies that sponsor ICOs are getting more, growing more toward the IPO picture where they can't all be looked at as if that this is a, um, a, a, a fraud. They're trying to make themselves look more and more legitimate. Let me go through a brief history of ICOs. Uh, Jay Willett founded the first white paper back in 2012. Um, MasterCoin was announced. By 2017, there was 875 ICOs. By 2018, that number had doubled. Um, but the failure rate was extremely, extremely high. You had 
right, she was like EOS, EOS losing $4 billion, but Ethereum, which was an ICO, was extremely, extremely successful. Let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages. Uh, high reward. If you get an ICO, get in early, you can get, you can make some money. They're very easy to put together. Remember, you have to put a white paper together. They're, like in an IPO, uh, unlike an IPO, you don't have to invest that much money in promoting it. It's usually promoted on websites. Um, startup costs are, are, are very low. The paperwork process is very simple. As I said, it's a poor man's I, uh, in, uh, IPO. And um, it's accessible online. The disadvantages are very obvious. The risk is extremely high. Uh, the level of fraud is extremely high again. And um, m most ICOs, or some of the ICOs, will return the money to you, uh, some of the money that, to you. They're extremely volatile. Uh, there's a lack of accountability. And there is, is a, a lack of regulations. Um, and that brings in all types of issues. The industry has come up with, I mentioned earlier, uh, I, um, an IEO, Initial Exchange Offering. This is the phase that the ICOs are in now. They recognize that they were or being viewed like, I remember in my days, there were companies that sold penny stocks. You, you know, you, you were just throwing money in the street. Uh, they realized they have to change their tenor. So they there's something called IEOs, as I said, initial exchange offerings. And they are an ICO evolved. They have road shows where they go out, they, they, they tell people about the technology, they let people get hands on, meet the people, meet the management team. Um, they're getting more like initial public offerings. And that's really a good thing because that will allow the IEOs to, and um, allow the public to feel a lot more comfortable in that area. I'd like to thank you very much for your time. I'd like to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and have a great day. Bye.